Shalom. Today we're going to finish reading Psalm 46. Mizmor Mem Vav. Hamugoyim matu mamlachot natan bekolo tamug aretz. Hamu is a verb we've already discussed. It's onomatopoeic, making a loud humming noise. Goyim is generally translated as Gentiles or nations. There's a video you can check about that. Matu is a verb we have already discussed. It has to do with moving. There's a video on that. The word mamlachot, you can see the word melech, the root melech. Melech is king, mamlachot is kingdoms. Natan is a verb that means to give, but it's also used in many other framework to set in place or something like that. But is a preposition, call is voice, the O at the end is his. We would say he uttered his voice. Tamug is from a verb that means to melt, or it's you know is earth. They are raging, making noise, the nations. They are moved, the kingdoms. He gives out his voice. The earth melts or dissolves. Hamugoyim matu mamlachot natan bekolo tamug aretz. Yehovah tzvaot imanu. Miskav lanu, Elohe Yaakov, Sela. Yehovah, you know, Tzvaot comes from the word Tzva, which means army. Imanu means with us, as you know from the name Immanuel, with us, God, God with us. Miskav lanu. Miskav is a refuge associated with being a high fortified place. Lanu is the preposition lamed to, new us, for us, to us. Elohe Yaakov. Elohe is the construct form of the noun Elohim. So it means Elohim of, the Elohim of Yaakov, Jacob. Selah, we've already talked about. Stop and think about it. Yehovah of hosts is with us, a refuge for us, the God of Jacob. Stop and think about it. Yehovah tsevaot imanu, miskav lanu, Elohe Yaakov, Selah. Lechu chazu mif'alot Yehovah, asher sam shamot ba'aretz. Lechu is a command form for the, from the verb Halach, to go. Chazu is a command form from a verb that means to have a vision, to see. The root of the noun mif'alot is pa'al. Po'el, you know this word. It is the root that is used for the name of all the binyanim, and it means verb. Mif'alot are workings, the work. And Yehovah, you know. Asher means which. Psalm is a verb that means to put or to put in place. Shamot here means desolations. And it does look like another word. It looks like the word for names. So there'll be another video shortly on the different Shin Mem words. Shamot comes from the root Shin Mem Mem to, to make desolate. Ba'aretz, you know. 
Come and see the works of Yehovah, which he has set the desolations in the earth. Lechu chazu mifatlot Yehovah asher sam shamot ba'aretz. Mashbit milchamot ad kitzeha aretz keshet yishaber. The root for mashbit is Shabbat. Shabbat means to cease. This is a he feel form. It's a participle present tense form. He causes to cease. Milchamot is a plural of milchama. It means war. Ad is a preposition. Kitse comes from the ends, the outer limits, the furthest limits. Haaretz, you know. A keshet is any kind of an arched bow. It refers to a bow for the bow and arrow, and it refers to the rainbow. You can check on the video on that. Yeshaber comes from a root, shavar, which means to break. Here it is in a piel binyan. It's a stronger binyan. He causes to cease wars to the ends of the earth. The bow he breaks or even shatters. Mashbit. Milchamot ad kitze haaretz keshet yeshaber. Vikitzetz chanit agalot yisrof baesh. The vav is the conjunction and kitzetz is related to the ketz that we saw in the previous verse. A ketz is an end of something. Kitzetz is to make an end by breaking or by cutting. Chanit is a spear. Agalot is related to the word that we learned in Psalm 23. We talked about ma'agal being a, a circle. It's a circle that the egel, the calf, is walking as it's turning the millstone around. Agalot is actually the cart that the calf would be pulling in the plural cart. Yisrof, saraf is to burn, and baesh is in fire. And he cuts the spear, the cart, he burns in fire. Vekitzetz chanit agalot yisrof baesh. Harpu udu ki anochi Elohim. Again, a command form from the root reshpe aleph, which means to become faint or weak. Here it's translated as to be quiet. Du, also a command form from the verb yada, no. Ki, a conjunction, sometimes translated as because. Here we will translate it as that. Anochi is a formal form of ani. It means I, but the two are used interchangeably. Elohim, you know. Be still, be quiet, and know that I am Elohim. I am God. Harpu udu ki anochi Elohim. Arum bagoyim, arum baaretz. Arum is a first person imperfect. I will be. The root is reshvab mem, which means to be lifted up. 
You can remember this by the name of the places which are called Rama. They are high places. Bagoyim, we've already talked about the Goyim, the peoples, the nations. Arum Ba'aretz, I will be lifted up in the earth. I will be lifted up, I will be exalted among the peoples, I will be exalted in the earth. Arum Bagoyim, Arum Ba'aretz. And finally, the last verse, which repeats verse 7. Yehovah of armies is with us, a high place of refuge for us, the God of Jacob, Selah. Yehovah tzvaot imanu miskav lanu, Elohei Yaakov, Selah. There are a lot of good songs which are taken from this psalm, and I will put a link to the Hebrew reading, and in the description for the Hebrew reading, there are the links to all the songs. Shalom.